Hey guys! Um, so today I am going to do a review on new lipstick that I am absolutely obsessed with. It's been out for a couple months and I've never even heard of this brand and I've never used anything except for this and let me tell you what, it is a game changer. So here is what I'm talking about today. These are liquid lipsticks by a brand called Jouer. I was calling it Jour. No, J-O-U-E-R. If you like matte lipsticks, you will absolutely love these. They go on liquid and they dry matte. They last me, I will put it on at eight in the morning, go to the gym, still on. Two hour class. Well, two, two hour classes, you get me. Still on. Take a shower. Still on. I love it. Now, I don't lick my lips. I don't touch them. I don't mess with them. I can eat lunch. It stays on. Maybe by late afternoon, I might just kind of reapply a little bit. It's such good stuff. Oh, I love it. What I also love is I'll show you one. So this is the color that I have on today. is called Petal de Rose. I'm not even gonna try to do all that. It is beautiful. It is just a muted rose color. It's a color anybody can wear. It's nothing crazy, nothing bright, um, and it'll look good with any makeup. I love it. It's definitely my go-to just, I know no matter what I'm wearing, I can put this on and it'll look good. It's just a great, great color. So if there's one color I would say start with, it's definitely, definitely this color. So these come in this cute little nice sleek packaging and then the way their products work which like I said I don't have any of their other products but they come with like this little like groove that their different makeups can all fit together if you want everything in one piece the lipsticks don't these won't fit together but if you're into connecting your makeup this stuff does it now smell oh my gosh it smells like vanilla frosting vanilla cake when I'm in the car and putting it on at a stoplight my kids will say what are you eating are you eating candy are you eating cake are you eating cupcake no it's just this it smells so amazing and what I love about it is the applicator tip so when I got this I thought I would have to use lip liner because my lips are the kind I have to define them or they look like one like there's no definition so I always if I buy lipstick I always have to buy a lip liner not with these. I was so surprised. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. Where will focus? Come on. Well, the applicator tip, there. It is, it's perfect. It goes, it just molds to the shape of your lip. So you need no lip liner. It can define your lips just by the tip. So I love, 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 love that. These um, retail for $18. And right now it's kind of hard to get them. They're in stock. They're out of stock. They're on back order. Birch Box. I was actually able to get some. They had a pretty good selection. Nordstrom sells them. And then their own website and maybe other places. Um, they're kind of, it's hit and miss if you can get them right now. But they're really good. 18 bucks, and you don't have to buy lip liner. So really, you're saving money. Um, yeah, so I am actually going to put on seven. There are about 16 colors total in there in this line right now, and I have seven of them. Um, they have a few I'm not super interested in trying, and they're more of a metallic. Um, they look cool on, but I don't, it's not really, I'm not really into that. I just like really, really matte. Um, and so I have kind of all different shades and I am going to show you them on me. Of course, I'm a redhead and I'm super pale. So you just kind of have to read between the lines of what it'll look like on you. But if it'll look good on me, it'll look good on you. So hopefully it helps for you to get a better idea and um, definitely get them. I have not worn any other lipstick for since I got these, which I think I got them in April and we're now in May, so this is all I've worn, nothing else. Um, try them out, all right? All right, bye. So I'm gonna show you how I apply the liquid lipstick 
There's lots of different ways to do it, but this way works for me. So what I first do is make sure that my lips are smooth. Any, if they're really dry, you have to get them, exfoliate them, and then I put on chapstick, let it kind of soak in a little bit for a minute or two, and then, so like I discussed, the applicator is really nice because it just goes to your lips, so you don't need that lip liner. So I'm gonna try to get my, because I have to look kind of close in the mirror while I do it. All right, so what I do first is I go and do my bottom lip. Rub them together and it kind of naturally outlines. Like that. Then I go up, get a little more and I'm gonna define the tops of my lips. So I just kind of, use, like I'm using a lip liner, and you have time with this stuff that you can mess with it. It doesn't dry, whoa, that was close, right away. So you have time. So I like to do a couple layers because I like it very opaque. I like it not sheer at all and I like it to just look a lot deeper. So I would go back and once I've kind of outlined the lips, as you can see, then I go back and just kind of redo what I already did but I don't need to rub them together anymore because uh, it can it can make it patchy. I just Go back over. I'm really particular too. I like it just so. See, it's not perfectly even, but you get the idea. It's so easy to apply. And so normally I would probably go over one more time to make it really, really um, deep in color, but I'm gonna spare you the details of that. But it's that easy to apply. Very easy, it may take a little bit of practice, but um, it's way easier than using a pencil and then having to do lipstick. So just practice and you'll get it and you will absolutely love it. Oh, one thing that I don't know if I showed you was when I apply the bottom, I like to go and apply kind of a back because what will happen is you can end up getting kind of a harsh cutoff where it dries to your lips. And so I go a little bit farther back so you don't see that. That's just personal preference. I just don't like the way that looks. Um, yeah. So hopefully that helped. And this color that I just applied was the Petal de Rose. Petal de Rose, let's be real. Petal de Rose. This is probably my favorite color. I love it. Um, it is a just a nice muted pinky rose. So it goes with everything. It's not bright. Um, it goes with any kind of eyeshadow that you do, any look you do. It's Definitely, if you're wanting to start with one color, this is hands down the color I would start with. 100%. You'll be happy with it. And then you can go from there. Okay. Okay, so this color I have on, it's really light as you can see. Um, this color is called Creme Brulee. So this is just a really very natural, almost for me, it's almost the color of my, as you can see, of my skin. Um, so this is a good one, just if you're wanting a very, very, very natural 
look. Um, I also like to put like a little bit of a pink lip gloss over it to give it a little bit more color, but this one is creme brulee. It's real pretty. All right, the next color I have, it looks kind of similar. Well, I guess maybe a little bit brighter. This one is called, I call it peach, but it's peche peach. And it's very, it's that. It is very, very peach. You can see it's peach. There's not really a whole lot to say about it. Not my favorite, but you know, it's, it's a good summer color. Um, but it's just, it's pretty bright. It's more bright in person when you see it. So if you're not into a bright peach lipstick, you might not want this one, but I like it. All right, on to the next. All right, next color up is Framboy. Love this color. It is a bright, I would say just a, a pink, not as bright as another one I'm going to show you, but this one is, is bright and it's just a really pretty, just pink, just a nice pink. If you're wanting pink, it, I don't know why it looks like orange, but it is not orange. It is a gorgeous pink color. Frambo, Framboy. I'm saying it wrong, I know. But if you're looking for a pink, not a hot pink, but it's not as muted as what I already showed you, the Petal de Rose who, that I said is just a perfect go-to all the time, you can see, or maybe not, the difference between the two. So this one is, a, is brighter than this one. So if you really don't want bright, you'd go with the Petal. If you're wanting a little brighter, oh, I love this one. Definitely one of my favorites, 100%. Okay, next up is Fruit de la Passion. This one is definitely a bright pink, bright, bright pink. Compared to the one I just had on, the one I just had on prior looks like nothing compared to this bad boy. Um, yeah. I love this one. It's also one of my favorites and it is really, I don't think you can really tell. It is bright, 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 bright pink and it is so fun. It is so fun for the summertime. Oh, I just love it. So if you're looking for a bright, fun pink, Fruit de la Passion, that's what you want. Okay, next up is Casis. And this one is gorgeous. I feel like the others I've shown you, they're different, but they're similar because they're all kind of, well, peach, or then there was a few that were really pink. And this one is more of a purple. It's a purple pink, but it looks different than the others I've showed you. This one's gorgeous. If you like purple lipsticks, but not obviously over the top purple. Casus is, just look, my lips are starting to get like from taking the lipstick on and putting more and off and on. It's like getting a ring around it because the stuff, you can't just take it off. And let me just go ahead and ADD to get this stuff off because it does not just come off with a, a Kleenex. So I have used two different products that I that take it off really, really gently. So I'm not getting it like, cause you'll end up getting lipstick like a big old bringer in your mouth. So two, number one, good old baby oil. And I just take like a gauze pad and that gets it off really well. Or MAC, and the reason I know about this is I got a sample. The MAC Cleanse Off Oil. This is a tiny little jar. This stuff, is awesome. This is just a ton more than um, getting baby oil, but this gets it off wonderful. So your lips aren't bleeding because it's no joke. I mean, it is on your lips. So that was a sidetrack note. But anyway, cases, you want purple? This is gorgeous. All right, last but not least, 
Hello Red. This is actually my first time putting it on and I absolutely love it. I love, love red. Red and hot pink are probably my two favorite uh, lipsticks to wear. Bright pinks, bright reds. This one is called Cerise. You know I'm bad at focusing in on stuff. Anyway, it is just like red. It is gorgeous. It went on really easy too, because sometimes reds, for some reason, can be more challenging to put on. Oh, I love it. I love this red. They have another one that I want to get that's more of a pink red. I forget the name. This is just a gorgeous, bright red. Oh, I love it. So if you're on the lookout for a red, Cerise, C-E-R-I-S-E, -E. try it. So hopefully today gave you an idea of um, just a few of these gorgeous colors and why I love them so much and why people are also going crazy all over social media for these and why they can't stay in stock. Um, and maybe I've opened your mind to go and try a few. Um, because I know that I still want to get, there's probably like four more that I really want that I just wasn't able to get. Um, but you better believe it when they're in stock, I'm jumping and maybe I'll even try the metallic ones. I don't know. Metallic's not really my thing, but it looks really cool on. So crazier things have happened, but thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.